Hi everyone, so I'm super excited about the topic of this video today because this is something that I have searched on YouTube for myself numerous times and I've never found a video that I felt kind of gave enough information or that was kind of beauty um, related enough. They were all kind of quite commercial and nothing really talks about specific products and the kind of um, after effects of this particular topic and by the title of this video you'll know that this is going to be about stretch marks and firming skin. So I'm going to talk about stretch marks first because I get comments all the time from women who have had children and also younger girls who have gone through puberty who have suddenly got stretch marks on their body and they really don't like them and they want to get rid of them and they're just really unconfident about them. And what stretch marks basically are is the elasticity in your skin is stretched due to either pregnancy, rapid weight gain, um, rapid growth even, and your skin stretches. If you think about it just like a piece of rubber, you've got a stiff piece of rubber that's been the same for a really long time. And then what happens is all of a sudden it, ne it stretches quite quickly and it just kind of can't get back to what it was. And then you see these little ripples in the skin. They can be red, um, they can be white, they can kind of just be like a light pinky color. It depends on your skin tone, it depends on your skin type. I personally have got quite bad stretch marks and I was going to show them in the video, but I've decided not to because I thought the editing of it would be a little bit weird. But I've got quite noticeable white stretch marks on the side of my stomach and the kind of top of my thighs. They're very, very noticeable um, to me. That being said, I have actually had a few lovely people in the past when I've been on a beach or something sort of end up chatting to me and then they'll ask you what are they and you have to sort of say stretch marks and it is so unbelievably awkward and embarrassing and I for the life of me don't understand why anyone would ever ask that but that has actually happened to me but to me they're very very noticeable other people don't tend to really notice them um, or maybe they just say that they don't notice them I don't know my boyfriend says that you can't even see them, but to me they're very, very noticeable. And they are something that stops me from wearing certain things, like, for example, I'd never wear a crop top because I wouldn't want that part of my stomach to be out. I wouldn't wear a crop top because it wouldn't look nice on me anyway, but the stretch marks definitely affect that. And surprisingly, if I have to wear a bikini, I kind of feel okay about it. But at the same time, it is something that's not particularly pleasant and it's not a subject that kind of people talk about very often. My stretch marks came from just going through puberty. I haven't had children and I think mine just kind of came from suddenly getting curvier and suddenly kind of getting hips and boobs and that kind of thing. Um, surprisingly on my boobs, I don't really have stretch marks as far as I can tell, but then my boobs aren't particularly big, so that might be why, because that's another very common place for women to have them. And on a side note, it's not just women who get stretch marks, men can get them too, boys can get them too. If they grow tall really quickly, they get them, or if suddenly they gain a little bit of weight, they get them. I know plenty of men who have them as well. So it's not just a female thing. The kind of hip thigh area thing, and obviously your boob area, is more towards females because that's just the places that you tend to kind of get a little bit curvier. So that's what stretch marks come from and you're probably thinking, great, now what can you do to get rid of them? And I'm here to disappoint you and to tell you that really there isn't much you can do to get rid of stretch marks at all. You can have laser treatment to get rid of stretch marks if they really, really get you down that much and you really, really want to. And I haven't got stretch marks on my stomach as you would have after you've had a child maybe but I can definitely understand how if you have got stretch marks like that and you're going on holiday or something like that and you have to wear a bikini then I would feel very kind of self-conscious about it so I do understand why people resort to getting kind of laser surgery in a way and having them kind of removed and that kind of thing but I'm not going to talk about those today because I've got no experience in that department and all you can do when it comes to stretch marks is you can treat them and you can prevent them. And to prevent stretch marks, you need to make sure your skin is really, really well moisturized at all times. Never skip body moisturizer. Always make sure your skin's really soft and supple and moisturized. And I also think that kind of 
working out and making sure your body's in good shape is going to help it as well because the skin's going to be a little bit tighter so maybe the skin kind of won't stretch as badly if you know what i mean um a kind of common treatment thing with stretch marks that i've used and that i love is bio oil and i know that a lot of women swear by the palmer's cocoa butter um stretch mark treatment or whatever i had used that in the past and i didn't feel like that made a particularly big difference to my stretch marks the only thing that i've noticed that has faded them is bio oil you can buy this in boots in super drug in supermarkets it's very readily available it's not extremely cheap but it's not very expensive either it's kind of a decent price and it's just a kind of thin oil it smells really lovely it's got a really kind of I don't know, it's just got a really lovely smell and you apply it onto those areas and it really does help to kind of make them disappear a little bit and blur them out a little bit and I also find that if you've got a little bit of a tan that blurs them out as well so fake tan can help to blur them out but when you've got a natural tan, if you've got white stretch marks like mine that actually just makes them even more noticeable because it's white on a darker base so that's something to bear in mind as well but as I said, it isn't something that should stop you from doing anything and they're not ugly and they're not hideous and they're not, you know, like something really awful. They're just absolutely normal and so many women have got stretch marks and, you know, women who haven't, sometimes it's just a skin type thing and they're just incredibly lucky. But the majority of us do have stretch marks and it's not the most pleasant thing but it's not the end of the world and there's not really anything you can do about it. But if you want to go down the route of covering them up a little bit, maybe you've got like a pool party or something like that that you want to go to, um, then there's a couple of options. MAC Face and Body is obviously meant for your body as well. This works really well at covering them up. I've used this before, but this does kind of come off when you go in the water. So if you're just going somewhere and you just want to kind of hide them a little bit and you know that maybe you've got them on kind of like I don't know the back of your um, hips or somewhere like that that might be visible you can put a bit of this on and it will really help disguise them and another great option is Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus foundation because this is water resistant so you can kind of apply it onto that area and then go in the water and it won't come off it only comes off with like soap and makeup remover so those are options if you want to kind of try and hide them but as i said there isn't anything really that can help you kind of just get rid of stretch marks completely if there was i'd be the first to do it but there isn't you can just treat the ones you've already got and try and not yo-yo diet because that really really does create stretch marks and i'm super guilty of that because i am a huge yo-yo dieter so i'm very very guilty of going up and down and that's not good for your skin because it stretches and then has to stretch back and stretches and stretches back and you're just making the problem worse so make sure you treat it try and not yo-yo diet and use a really really good moisturizer then on to the next thing which is firming skin when you've lost weight so the classic kind of firming thing is to exercise but sometimes even if you're really toned the skin can just be a little bit flabby and you can kind of end up feeling just a little bit looser and your skin's got a little bit more of a jiggle than you'd like it to have and I've got a couple of products here that I think do definitely help with that kind of thing um, they're not gonna you know automatically just make your abs go and just suck everything in and you'll be all defined and perfect because that's not that easy but they definitely do kind of help tighten a little bit and just make you feel a little bit more confident and that's half the battle so the Garnier body tonic firming um, hydrating lotion this smells really lovely it's got a really kind of zesty scent, zesty scent and it does really kind of help just tighten everything up and you do feel like a little bit more compressed some things that I absolutely love and that really really does make a difference is the Spa Find Sculpted Silhouette Intrap Firming Gel. Now I was sent this um, a while ago and it's basically a spa brand but I'll link below where you can get it. And it's just a gel that you apply and it really really does firm. Obviously it's not going to firm forever, it's just kind of like a temporary effect on the area but it does definitely make you feel a little bit tighter and if you want to kind of wear a slinky dress then applying something like this is really great because it kind of just makes you feel that little bit more toned and then that's also got a gel exfoliant so kind of like a body scrub which helps to tighten you up a little bit as well 
but a product that I recently got that I really really love is the Balance Me Super Toning Body Oil. This is really really nice. It's got a kind of herbally scent. Um, I know the scent won't be everyone's cup of tea, but I personally like it. And it's really natural, really lovely packaging, and it really does help to kind of make your skin feel that kind of a little bit more felt and kind of supple and lovely and another product that I've forgotten to bring with me but I've just remembered is the Balance, um, Nourish, ba not Nourish Balance, that's not what it's called, it's called Nourish and it's the Super Toning Gold Souffle or something like that, I can't remember exactly what it's called, I'll put the full name of it here for you but that's really really great because that's kind of got shimmer particles in it and it's also toning so it'll kind of give you that little bit of a kind of um, lift but it's got shimmer particles in so it makes your skin look really lovely so it makes you feel a little bit more confident but I hope you enjoyed this video um, maybe it wasn't what you're expecting you're expecting me to come out with some amazing solution of how to get rid of stretch marks forever and how to make your skin super toned but if it was all that easy we'd all be walking around looking like Victoria's Secret models and unfortunately that is not the case but those are just a few little things that can kind of help you along and just make you feel a little bit better about those problem areas so if any of you have got any tips or products you'd like to share then definitely put those in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye!